everybody, uh, Milk Knight here, and um, I was recently approached by Malon Kelp, uh, who told me that they were basically archiving Missing No Experts old videos. Um, I was a huge fan of Missing No Expert back in the day, still am, to, to an extent, and I still um, watch his vids, which are listed as unlisted on his channel. Um, recently it's been uh, posted in comments that unlisted videos are going to be removed unless the uploader opts out for a certain um, by a certain date I believe I'm not sure if Mr. No Expert is going to uh, get the notice on that but let's hope that he does and the unlisted playlists still stay around on the other hand at least Malon Kelp has uh, archived the uh, Let's glitch uh, Pokemon Yellow and Pokemon Blue, as well as the Expert Lock uh, challenge that he put out. Um, I figured that it would, it would be fitting to uh, basically step in and finish off where he left, essentially. He left off in Fuchsia City. Now, what I've done is pretty much replicate his entire team, uh, including gender and even the nicknames. Um, I've done a couple of extra gimmicks, um, naturally as you can see here, uh, the Kadabra that he had is now an Alakazam, because with the magic of using uh, MGBA, I can um, basically evolve it, which is pretty nice. On top of that, pretty much everything else is near enough the same, essentially, to an extent. There might be some slight differences with move pools and all that stuff, but it's very minute differences. So, yeah, without further ado, let's, um, let's begin and try and finish up, um, Expert Lock. I thought this would be a good way to essentially, uh, close the series off and, uh, give some leisure level of closure to fans. Lord knows that I have wanted some closure to the Expert Lock, uh, challenge for quite a while. So... He left it off at Koga's gym, or rather, he left before going to Koga's gym. Uh, we are going to basically wreck every single trainer in here with Spoonman and uh, defeat Koga. So let's uh, let's have some fun with that. So this guy's got some special techniques. Neat. Oh yeah, I forgot. They do have um, some psychic types with them. Not all of them are completely uh, poison, so that makes sense. Let's uh, switch, because I don't feel like this is a very good matchup right now. Stashy has a. not just an amazing stash, but also, you know, bites as well as Hydro Pump and Water Pulse. Bite is our best option. And I have not turned on the animations. <laughs> Let me, uh, I will fix that after this battle. I do know that, um, Mr. No Expert usually played with, uh, animations turned on. I grinded everybody up to 40 because I figured that he left most of his, um, his mons at, um, Sorry, he left them at, like, level 30-ish, so it makes more sense that, uh... I'll get Blitz in here. Um, it makes more sense that we just, well, that we just grind them to 40, because they were close to 40 anyway, uh, to an extent. Ooh, Pindasil, I forgot that I actually taught you Pindasil. This will be pretty effective, actually. And I think it's physical, isn't it? So, that'll be fun. The reflect ain't gonna help you, my friend. Nice. And down he goes. I'm recording this with OBS, by the way. Um, nice bit of software that lets me record stuff, which is always good. I use it personally to stream. And funnily enough, Missing No Expert was um, actually the one guy that kind of inspired me to uh, stream, essentially and have that sort of relaxed uh, take on things when playing games and stuff. 
Right, let me... Also, another, another good thing, I'll quickly point this out. With uh, MGBA, most people probably already know it, but I can speed up the game like this with no um, high-pitched uh, sounds. So it's completely silent like this, which is pretty alright. I used to do that with VBA quite a lot, and it used to get on my nerves quite a bit, to be honest. I should put this in stereo rather than mono. Uh, frame I've gone for, to, for type 3, because, you know, red kind of looks cool, I guess. Uh, put the battle scene on. There we go. Now we finally have move animations. The one good thing about Koga's gym is that we've got to be careful and not uh, <laughs> faint. Because that's the rules of the Nuzlocke, is to not have anyone faint, otherwise they're released. Essentially. Right, we'll keep going in with Spoon Man. I think there's only a few trainers that have Drowsy or Hypno. I don't even remember Koga's team, to be honest. I mean, I know there's a Venomoth on, on his team, I think. Ah, this is the guy with the Hypno, isn't it? I don't know why I've put Reflect on. <laughs> Probably to get rid of, uh, what's it called, any headbutt uh, attempts, I suppose. Naturally, we're going to be switching. Oh, synchronized. I forgot about synchronized. Alright, we'll switch, because this is not a good matchup. We'll get Blitz in and just pin Missile it to death, I guess, because that works, uh, works well. It's a good thing I put that Reflect down, isn't it? I actually like Pin Missile's animation. It looks kind of neat. I think it can be like three to five times. Well, no, two to five times, isn't it? That poison damage is, do is, is doing its work. I best finish him off with Shockwave. Beautiful. Juggler Caden got, uh, well, I wouldn't say bodied, but we definitely gave as good as we got from him. Of course, now I've got to run back to the center and heal. <laughs> I'm probably going to be doing this quite a lot as we, uh, as, as I'm playing. But I can use the magic of speed up to uh, make it less tedious. So, you know, that's a plus. Let's roll over to the next trainer. It's just dawned on me that I've got to do um, Sylphico as well. Because he did the rocket hideout, didn't he, if I recall, but he never did um, Sylphico. We'll get Stashy in here. I'm not too sure how long these parts are going to be, um, to be honest, finishing up. I'm just going to go as, I, as, as long as I can go between parts, essentially. I can manage to basically make things a bit longer, essentially, in that sense. We'll keep uh, Stashy in because that bite is quite nice. Part of me would wish that it would learn Crunch, but I don't think it does. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, not as bad as I thought, actually. That's probably the Gen, the Gen Wanna inside of me cringing every time I see Psychic. Because, well, yeah, Psychics were stupidly OP back in the day. I mean, they hit hard in this game still, but not as much as Generation One, where it was just comedically uh, broken. I mean, hey, at least Pin Missile is kind of useful now. We'll switch, uh, we'll, we'll keep with Blitz, not switch.
Looks like he's throwing Q-tips at him with the animation, to be honest. <laughs> you know, the things that you use to clean your ears out. Nice. Right, we're gonna have to go back to, uh... We're gonna go back to the center? I don't think anyone got poisoned, did they? No. We, we got lucky that time. Poison can be pretty... pretty obnoxious in this game, to be honest. I think in one of the earlier parts, Mr. No Expert mentioned that he wasn't sure if, uh... uh Pokemon fainted or not in Gen 3 from Poison. He was under the impression that there'd be like one HP left, and I was actually playing uh, Emerald not too long ago, and they, they do faint when poison kicks in in the overworld. I don't think they're left with one HP, so I think that's more of a generation four or five thing, maybe. Or maybe it was introduced in Gen 6. I tend to... I mean, Gen 4, 5, and 6 kind of uh, blend together for me. With some of the like changes and features that they would like iterate with is uh, is what I mean. I fancied using Psy Beam for a change of difference, <laughs> just just for a different animation. Nice level forty one. Sand slash, huh? Let's get spinach in there. Spinach hasn't had enough screen time yet. There we go. Down goes that go. We've got to go and get the Warden's Teeth uh, after this as well, so we can get um, uh, the HM for Surf, which will be quite nice. HM anyway, I'm sure it is. Or it's strength, one of the two. I'm sure you get surf and strength in the same vicinity. Uh, this is not a good matchup, once again. Uh, it'd be better if we get Stashy in here to uh, bite it. It's gonna hurt, but not, not as much as I thought it would. <laughs> but did, like, extra nothing. Uh, let's see. I'll switch to Blitz. We'll play it safe. Blitz has been doing pretty well with Pin Missile anyway. This is quite tense, because it's like, you've got to be super careful, really. Oh wow, Blitz is, is uh, laying in the work right now. I mean, four back-to-back -back hits, I mean, that's pretty, pretty alright. Ah, oh, twice. Ooh, Meditate. His attack rose. It ain't gonna do much good. Sweet. Level them up. Okay, I suppose we should, uh, take on this dude here. They do look more invisible in this game, compared to the original, uh, red and blue, <laughs> to be honest, so... 
they do look, uh, quote-unquote frustrating, I guess. We don't need to change. We're pretty much a guaranteed win for this one. Now the other thing is, as well, I have come to a bit of a conundrum too. We do have the Fly HM, and there is one possibility to get a Pokémon that has Fly, which will be Aerodactyl with the old Amber. So, you know, there's that possibility to, uh, to have a Pokémon that does have Fly to uh, get around. I mean, chances are, chances are me backtracking to other places is mainly down to doing small, tedious things like grinding, I suppose, here and there. Which I'm pretty much going to be doing off video, essentially. I don't think everyone wants to watch uh, an entire video of me just grinding uh, to level these guys up more so when I can do it off off, uh, off video essentially. Okay, I think uh, Koga is the only one left in here to take on, so let's go and uh, meet with meet with him and uh, have an epic battle. I cannot remember if he has any psychic types with him. I don't think he does. But let's find out. A mere child. Sleep's renders hot. Yeah, he tries to inflict poison and sleep. I was gonna say, doesn't he have an Ariados? But I'm thinking of his daughter, aren't I? Now that I think about it. Oh, coughing. Cha-chung-chung. -chung. <laughs> As a uh, Mr. No Expert once said about uh, Coffin's cry. Yeah, I watched all of his uh, Let's Glitch uh, Pokemon, uh, yellow and blue. I'm more familiar with the uh, little memes that he had rolling with yellow more than anything else. He did get very fascinated with glitch items, though, in Let's Glitch Pokemon Blue, which was pretty interesting to watch. Big yikes! That thing's like level 39. Yeah, there was a there was a good reason why I grinded to 40. We're just on par with him, essentially, or a little bit over at the very least, but. Hey, at least uh, it's plain sailing from here, right? The frustration's probably going to get real when we end up taking on Sabrina. Unless we be super obnoxious and just use Spoon Man and uh, tank the battle, I guess you could say. Now we have the Soul Badge, which is really fun. Defense increase, and it also lets us use Surf, which is nice. And we also get Toxic, which is a really good move if you like uh, poisoning people with. I can never look at Toxic in the same way again since the algorithm um, glitch with Leech Seed. Imagine if that was still around today, that fit, that'd just be like a potent combo till the, till the very end. Right, now we've healed everybody. Let's uh, head over to the Safari Zone and begin uh, getting the Warden's Teeth, I, I guess. I think strength is in the in the safari zone, isn't it? It's a prize for getting so far, if I recall. And I think you get surf from the old man. 
Or was it the other way around? I can never remember. I do know they're in the same vicinity. My favourite place ever. <laughs> I actually do kind of like the Safari Zone. But naturally we're not catching any Pokemon. We're just walking through to get the items and progress forward. Also, the evolution music is epic, especially hearing it uh, on a loop for this area. It's kind of a clever way of recycling music. Then again, um, I'm trying to think which town has uh, shared music. There is one town. Is it Celadon, maybe? A leaf stone, completely useless and not something I'm going to be using ever. I think it's Celadon or Cerulean that have shared music with another... No, it is. It's Fuchsia and Cerulean, isn't it, that have the same themes in Generation 1. Or rather, the same uh, music in the overworld, I should say. A full restore. I will be using items when I get to the Elite Four. There will be some rules, though. I will only be using items between battles, essentially, and not in the battles, for example. You caught a Chansey. I'm so jealous. Chansey is just such a pain to get a hold of, especially in this area. In Gen 1, it didn't matter, because you could just do the, uh, the Cinnabar Coast glitch, which was always nice. I would jokingly say if we do come across a shiny, we will uh, pick it up, but chances of that happening are very, very low. Stupidly low, to be honest. Although the rates did get better after Generation 2. Quick Claw, that's a nice gimmicky item. Pokemon can attack first occasionally with it equipped. Sometimes throwing it on a slow Pokemon can be very beneficial. We just speed up. Yeah, I'm trying not to, like, press A in a hurry and accidentally catch something. Because that would just, well, ruin it. Steel Wing. That's a pretty decent move, actually. Although Skarmory benefits from it the most, since it gets stabbed from it. My Eevee evolved into Flareon, but my friend's Eevee turned into Vaporeon. I wonder why. I wonder why indeed. Yeah, you have to go into the deepest part to get a prize. That's the one. Out of curiosity, how many steps do we have? 163. I suppose we best get a wriggle on before we end up getting called. If it, if we get called, we'll just try it again anyway. But hey, you know, sometimes getting all the extra items is quite fun in its own little way. I suppose. Speed up, run away. Um, let's see. Let's go down here. Gold teeth, that's for the uh, for the warden, which is good. We've got 58 steps, can we do it? Hey, double team, that's actually a decent move. If you like being extra cheesy with the evasion tactics. Hooray, HMO free. We get to surf. We get to surf and turf. It is a fabulous prize indeed. I will actually teach it to... Uh... Actually, who can learn it, out of curiosity? I'm assuming our Gyarados will be the only one to learn it. 
yeah, naturally it would only be Gyarados. Not sure what to get rid of. I'm thinking maybe Water Pulse at this point. It's pretty weak. Hydro Pump's a nice move. It, uh, its accuracy is a bit, a bit wobbly, but the power is definitely worth the payoff. Surf is a solid move anyway. It doesn't confuse like Water Pulse, but I mean, between me and you, the confusion rate for Water Pulse is quite. I've, I found it to be quite on the low side, to be honest. Let's get rid of Water Pulse and get a Surf on there then. I mean, we need to progress anyway, so... It makes more sense. And then we just gotta go and return the teeth to the Warden. I like the Surf music in Gen 3. Or rather, Fire Red using Gen 3's mechanics. Venonat. And a max potion, which is kind of nice. And our time is now up. Did you catch a fair share? Yeah, we caught loads of Pokemon. He said sarcastically. Yeah, I taught Spinach Cut, since that's what an uh, expert did in his final. Besides, I think um, Bulbasaur is the only one that can learn it, actually. Out of the starters, and you need someone to use Cut anyway. Otherwise, you can't progress. I don't know why I've just healed. That's a habit. <laughs> right, let's um, go to the Warden and give him his gold teeth. You're the fishing guru. No, I don't like to fish, because I wouldn't be able to use it anyway. This is the Warden's house. HM04. Beautiful. So, it's a decent move. Um, it's... Well, I say it's decent. I mean, the power on it's okay, and it's accuracy lands, so... Out of all the Pokémon I want to give this to, I'm thinking of giving this to Bessie, rather than Bruce. Because Bessie's move set is not the greatest right now. I taught her, um... Yeah, this is all she has. She's got Attract and Encore, Growl and Pound. Not very good moves, to be honest. It's better than Pound. If anything, it's an upgraded version of Pound, if you want to think of it like that. There is one move I will be teaching Arkla Fable later on. Or rather, more than likely off-screen, off when I've got the uh, coinage from the uh, slot machine. That being said, I could just grind trainers and get money and then just buy the coins outright, I guess, rather than gambling. Because slot machines can be a bit risky. Let me get ourselves a rare candy for our trouble. Right, now that that's done with, let's um, quickly head over to, uh, I guess, yeah, I, I guess it'd be best if I head over to uh, Saffron and start, get started on Selfco now, I guess. It'll also give everyone an extra chance to like level up and get further you know, powerful, <laughs> as it were. So we get the long, long move up uh, Cycling Road. 
<laughs> oh man, this is actually physically painful. Let's uh, let's use the speed up button. Yeah, much better. <laughs> we can just you know whiz past everything. In fact, what time am I at on OBS right now? Okay, we're about 30 minutes in. I can go for a bit longer. So yeah, all the Team Rocket grunts are just... <laughs> they're all, like, blocking everywhere, so I'm gonna have to go into Sylphco. The dude that's always sleeping. That's a guy that's definitely burning the candle at both ends, that's for sure. So the one upside to this is that um, Spoonman's going to level up quite a bit because of poison types that Team Rocket tend to have with them. That being said, it'd be better if Gyarados would start leveling up more because of that bite, and also the extra level ups will help when it comes to dealing with Sabrina. This one guy that's got like nothing but Zubats and Golbats. Right, let's hit everything with Surf. Not gonna lie, out of all the, I suppose, dungeons that's in um, Generation 1 and even in Fire Red and Leaf Green, um, Sylphco is not my favourite, <laughs> admittedly. Mainly because it's just, I find it to be a little bit tedious. And a bit long than, than I remember. So, there's going to be a little bit of wandering around pointlessly <laughs> for a while, I'm, I'm assuming. If it gets stupidly long to the point where, uh, obviously I need to um, keep an eye on time in that, I'll split this into like two parts essentially, where I just carry on with Sylphco in the next part. But hopefully it won't come to that if we're lucky with how uh, how good I remember this place, which is not very, <laughs> to be honest. I don't have the best memory layouts for Sylphco. But I'll give it a shot. Cubone. Oh, that kind of physically pained me. I'm actually a big fan of Cubone. There's a ton of theories based around uh, what Cubone was like underneath the mask. Somebody said that it would look more like Charmander. I do kind of uh, feel that it would look Charmander-like, I guess. Yeah, we need the card key to make any kind of progress here. We're just surfing everything out the doorway right now.
keep our Gyarados in. That can be risky. Nice. Actually, speaking of stats, what is your highest stat? Your attack? Is bite physical? I'm sure it is. Don't think it's special, is it? I'm thinking getting Bruce in here, actually. Hit it with a rolling kick. The animation looked pretty cool, actually. Yeah, it's definitely not easy, that's for sure. Especially with the warp tiles. Ugh. The bane of anyone's existence in this, uh... In this, uh, place. use Hydro Pump once. <laughs> and we got lucky with it hitting, which is quite nice. We'll get Spinach in this time. Razor Leaf has pretty good crit chance too, so... I hate it. <laughs> oh yeah, the four Rocket Brothers. This is quite a fun little uh, thing that uh, that happens in this place. Like four brothers are just basically on the same duty in Team Rocket. It's funny because when you beat them, they are like, "Oh, my brother will get you." So. <laughs> Kind of humorous. We got Spoon Man in to deal with this one. Spoon Man is pretty, pretty darn epic, especially now that we've been able to uh, give him his final form, essentially. Ooh, Golbat. We'll get Blitz in here. Because Blitz can just, you know, knock it out of the sky with Shockwave. <laughs> Shockwave is such a reliable move, it really is. I'll leave you to my brothers. But we'll soon see about that. Iron. <laughs> this guy's like chilling behind a plant. You can tell which guy played Metal Gear Solid on the uh, the Sylph Co crew. Intimidating. Oh, that was a crit too, nice. Arbok time. Uh, Spoon Man can take care of it. Yeah. 
Intimidate ain't gonna do anything. We're relying on specials, so... You know, good luck trying to intimidate a, an Alakazam. I'm sure that's gonna work out well for you. Let's, uh, let's get Blitz in and do another Shockwave again. Stashy in here just to uh, change it up. Don't want to be overly reliant on Spoon Man. Oh, it's another one of the brothers. <laughs> Second one this time. He's got a Q-bone. A man of a man of uh, of taste. It's a shame we're gonna surf it out the building, but what can you do? He's got two Q-Bones. Even better. Sweet. Right, I think it's about time we head back to the Pokemon Center real quick, just to get everyone's PP restored and... Uh, health back to normal, I guess. I'll quickly run to the center using the magic of the uh, turbo button. It's so uh, liberating to just speed through like this and not worry too much. It's, it definitely helps with grinding, that's for sure. Easily, easily helps with grinding. I'm going to go to the fifth floor this time. Oh yeah, we get the Master Ball here, don't we? Which is not going to be used. <laughs> Magnemite. Critical too, nice. Man, he gets really good with those crits sometimes. S oh, sorry, she does. I keep forgetting that Stash is a uh, female. Wheezing time.
see what we have here. Another one of the Rocket Brothers. I'm gonna quickly speed through this. Just gonna quickly use Bite and uh, <laughs> be cheap about it. We're getting good with flinching. Okay, there we go. Brothers will avenge you. I'm sure they will. So good of you to join me. Ooh, my choke. Something a bit different, actually. That was fast. He's stunned. I'm not surprised. It was a quick victory for us. Carbos. Rare candy. And Ultra Ball. Seems good. I just realized we're on the 10th floor. I vaguely remember the fifth floor being relevant to getting where the card key is. That's a burglar, isn't it, if I remember correctly? Is this where the card key is located? I vaguely remember going from the fifth floor, I think. Everyone's probably like screaming at the screen right now that I'm taking the wrong route, but don't worry, we've got plenty of time to get it. I'll get there in the end, I promise. <laughs> We need Stashy to get good with his biting skills, so... Heck yeah! Critical again. Stashy's just beasting. She's getting so good. She's like devouring everything. Okay, let's get Bruce in here since there's Eradicate. There's Eradicate in my kitchen, what am I gonna do? we are got to roll and kick it out. <laughs> he gives up. Well, yeah, I think you got stomped pretty hard, bud. Oh, there's so many possibilities of where to go. This is the issue with Silphco. guys like hostage. Okay, so that just took me over there, so that's not where I'm supposed to be going. Hey, focus punch. That's actually a decent move. Then again, I say a lot of moves are decent, so... Stop, help. <laughs> Um, Thunder Wave. Thunder Wave's good, but... I don't know. Is, would it be useful? I mean, let me look at Blitz's moveset a minute. It'd be nice, but... I'm not too sure if I'd really want it. I don't really rely on Parahax that much, because I'm never really that lucky with it. Most of the time. Let me head back to the fifth floor again. He 
heard a kid was wandering around. He was a little bit slow on the uptake on that one. What do you have? Let me just... Uh, oh, he's got an Arbok. Let's just use Surf. I do have uh, some full heals on my person, just in case we get poisoned or anything like that. Oh, here we go. The card key was here, then. <laughs> we at least got it. Um, that went too hard. I knew it had something to do with the fifth floor. And here was me thinking we had to go on a, a wild goose chase for the... Uh, with the warp uh, panels. That's pretty convenient. Sandshrew, missing no expert's favourite. It's kind of funny that we both like ground types, or at least we both have a favourite uh, associated with ground types. In terms of my top two favourites, it's Cubone and uh, Houndor, believe it or not. Love Houndoom's Mega Evolution, by the way. It's, uh, it's quite cool. Just when I thought that Houndoom couldn't get any edgier. <laughs> Never card key done. What's this? Bulk up. Uh, it's okay. It's more useful in a competitive sense, really. He smells a little mouse. Is this guy like smelling people like, uh, like Blue does? You never know, this dude might be uh, Blue's father for all we know. <laughs> Zubat. Let's get Blitz in. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's good that Stashy's getting a bunch of level ups, but, you know, I at least want to keep each uh, part particularly uh, balanced somewhat. and we can just shockwave this stuff all day like like it's going out of fashion. Matata. Well, funnily enough, <laughs> Blitz is actually equipped to deal with that with a uh, double kick. I mean, he doesn't get stabbed from it, but hey, it's useful. Especially if you're against a rock type and you can use your speed as, as, a, as, a, as at an advantage, I should say. Sorry if I'm stuttering a little bit. I, I sometimes do that. <laughs> I try my best not to. Or rather, I'll try my best not to, I should say. Calcium. All of these statting, stat upgrading items. I'm getting quite a, quite a few of them. Oh yeah, you can rest in one of these beds, can't you? Or am I thinking of the other area? I think there's a lady you speak to who lets you rest, if I remember correctly. I wonder if Sylph is finished. Not quite. They're not exactly down and out yet. Good 
going around in circles right now. At least we have the key at the card key. Uh, the card key. And we can open barriers up, which is quite nice. Hyper potion, that's that's pretty alright. Pokemon seem to adore us. Well, we do train them pretty well. Yeah, the only one who really has an average screen time is Bessie, but that's mainly down to her not having decent moves at the moment. But don't worry, her time will come. I'll call upon Bessie when the time is right, believe me. Uh, let's, let's keep Stashy in, actually. Ah, you missed. Of course you would. Ooh, sludge. Okay, this is getting a bit dicey here. Let's, uh... Let's play it safe with Surf. We'll use a full heal after the battle's done to get rid of the poison. Yeah, let's switch. Put Spoon Man in here now. Full heal, that's the one. We'll also use a potion to uh, get you back to health. Might as well use the uh, hyper potion we just picked up, actually. Oh, typical. <laughs> this is the area that I just wasted a hyper potion. GG. It doesn't matter. I can always buy more. Don't give up. I don't intend to. Let's just talk to him rather than. Oh, never mind. I actually thought that we hadn't encountered him, but looks like we did, so. Smart to pick a fight with Team Rocket. Interesting thing to say. <laughs> Let me go to the higher, higher floors a minute. Aha, we've not fought you. I think he's the last brother, actually. Yeah, there's a reason why these videos are not called Let's Play, but rather Let's Finish Up um, ex Fire Red Expert uh, Lock. Since these are kind of, well, substitute videos to give that closure that people want, I guess. Let's 
getting a bunch of items that I'll never use. I don't really use in battle items. I don't see the benefits of them. Like, I'd rather just, you know, use actual stats as opposed to using battle items. It used to drive me up the wall when some of the AI would use them. But then again, they're programmed to use potions and stuff when they get low health and that. Yeah, I don't blame her for being scared. It's a pretty, pretty shady predicament to be in right now. Items galore right now. I'm gonna run out of packing our uh, space in our inventory soon at this rate. <laughs> oh yeah, the dude that's like, can't you see I'm hiding? quickly uh, speed this up. Let's just get our bites in. Oh no, we're confused. Oh no, that's not good. Oh, never mind. Oh, <laughs> I don't like it when confusion hacks happens. I've had plenty of battles go south with those. It's not a very pleasant way to end, put it that way. his loyal servant. That's an interesting uh, thing to say. It's an electro too. Let's just hit it with surf and call it a day. <laughs> hey, leveled up, nice. What a plonker that Rodney is. Ooh, what's this? Torment? That's pretty okay. It's not really a move I'd use my, myself that much, but hey, different strokes, I guess, for everybody else. Man, I feel like a rat in a cage right now. Don't, on, don't intend on it, bed lady. Yeah, Sylphco is a very obnoxious place, <laughs> to say the least. But don't worry, we'll get there in the end. Here we go. We're just going to quickly save, since we've gotten this far. Okay, let's, uh, let, let's, let's face uh, Blue. Or Kyle, as... Um, uh, expert named him. Yes, I even made sure to name the rival the exact same too. <laughs> Took me forever, but hey, we got there with a with a raised fist of victory. Yeah, we've just got to deal with our rival. smooth sailing from here on, hopefully. Haha, <laughs> Gyarados, huh? I have the perfect answer to that. A 
And that Intimidate is not going to do diddly dick. Speaking of the of the name um, Shockwave, you should have a look at the uh, song Shockwave by uh, I think was it Black Tired. They were a pretty good band back in the day. I don't know whatever happened to them. I think maybe they just faded away like some some bands do. Oh, now you're trying to learn Thunder Wave, of course. You would learn it now, wouldn't you? No, I don't. I no, I don't feel comfortable with him learning it. If I wanted him to learn it that bad, I could always come back here and talk to the lady anyway. Oh, his execute is the only thing I've not accounted for. Stashy would be useful, but that thing's grass. Spinach could be useful since they're both grass type. But that thing's psychic too, and we're poisoned, so. It's not an executor yet either, but. Did not know it could stun us. Oh no, we're gonna switch. Yeah, we're switching. This is not gonna. Yeah. If. This is what I mean with power hacksing. I'm not very lucky with it. If I have to use the my psychic is better than yours tactic, I will. I think, uh... Yep, synchronize helped. And he's still faster too. Well, yeah, because he's para paralyzed too, but you know. Oh, he has an Alakazam as well, huh? Good thing our Gyarados has been training that bite. Let's hope those uh, razor sharp fangs. Do, uh, do what we need them to do. Let's hope she uh, pulls through for us. Hey, flinch. Nice. And last but not least is his Charizard. This is, this is a, a set match, pretty much. We'll play it safe with Surf, but hey, that will work. Oh, it's not quite over yet. He's got that scary face going for him. He's trying to get one last attack in. It's gonna do... It's gonna hurt, but it's not gonna do enough. Oh, that was... <laughs> that was close, not gonna lie. He got crit too, that... that oof. I'm kind of glad we did level up Stashy a bit more. And of course, like the uh, dick that he is, he's like, oh, you're ready for, for Rocket now, for the boss Rocket. It's best that we uh, heal everyone up to the best of my ability. And get rid of the paralysis that he inflicted on everybody, too. I have two max potions. I will use one on Stashy. And I'll use one on Spinach. Spoon Man should be okay. I think he starts with his Nido Queen if I remember correctly. Oh yeah, we've got a few rocket... It's got, we've got this one rocket to deal with. I'm actually going to speed this up real quick, because this is 
It's like a, a non-battle right now. Oh, he's got a Marowak. But that's not going to save him. Okay, here we go. World of Pain. I'm ready for your World of Pain, Giovanni. In fact, we get introduced with the uh, World of Pain twice. He's got his Master Ball there in his hand, hasn't he? Oh, it's Nidorino he starts with, okay. No biggie. We're gonna use Surf regardless. Hopefully it's enough to take it down. Okay, maybe not. But it's got Horn Attack. <laughs> Which is... a nothing attack, really, but... whatever. Rain Dance. Okay. That's kind of tempting. Powers up water moves. Then again, by the time I've used it, I'm going to get hit with something. Mm, no, I'll... yeah, we'll stop. Besides, I, um... I, I trust Stashy enough to to take these down, no problem, anyway. Good thing we have Bruce, actually. I was kind of getting a bit um, scared of his Kangaskhan. focus, so we can go for critical, or do we just go for the attack? I could be extra risky and use high jump kick. I'm thinking brick break. There's a chance we could flinch with rolling kick, though. You know what, let's go for it. Mega punch, that's gonna hurt. Brick break. Nice. Bruce pulled through. It's funny, because Expert was actually thinking of dropping Bruce from the team. And I thought, let's let's actually try and keep him, up, keep him on for the sake of consistency. And looks like it's paid off, at least in this part it has. Let's finish off with Surf. What's he going to use? Poison Sting? Really? Of course he poisons us. <laughs> Is he going to be cheap, though, and use a Super Potion? No, he's not. Okay. And that's a wrap, pretty much, I guess. Team Rocket will never fail. Oh, I'm sure they won't. <laughs> he shall return, though. I'm gonna quickly use a full heal on, uh, on Gyarados. Because, let's be honest, I don't really want it taking damage while I'm walking. I mean, you never know. Those n We might have to do 96 steps back to uh, where we're going. Yes, the Master Ball, which we're never going to use. <laughs> I mean, it has the capture rate of 100%, but we, we can't use it, so... <laughs> Quiet about using it, though. Yeah, I'm sure. Can I use the escape rope to get out of here, by the way? Yes, we can. Nice. And now that Team Rocket are gone, we can actually deal with Sabrina. 
in the next part, of course, because this has gone on for quite a while, actually. This has gone on for about an hour and 15 minutes. Yikes. <laughs> I was in Sylph Co. longer than I thought I would be. But, plus, we did do the Safari Zone and defeat Koga as well. So, it's not like we didn't just run to Sylph Co. and have the entire part be dedicated to it. But a good portion of it was taken up. I'm just going to quickly uh, save real fast. Okay. That's pretty much going to be it for now. Um, thank you very much for watching uh, Let's Finish Up um, Expert Lock. Um, part 16, I guess, because he did end off at part 15. So, yeah, this is, this is part 16. Um, thank you very much for watching, and I guess I will be catching you in the next part. Until then, ciao for now, everybody.